So for documentary paintings like these ones I was doing in China, uh, they're always based on measured drawings done in the field. Uh, as I'm an architect by training, so that's uh, easy, but very time consuming to do, especially large buildings. Um, and then a lot of photographs, sketches, and then the, using all that documentation, the paintings are put together in the studio. They're all watercolours. Uh, sometimes they don't look like watercolours, but I, because I build up many, many layers of paint to get a real density of, of uh, colour and uh, saturation. But most people don't associate with watercolour. You have this idea sometimes in the West that watercolours are sort of very washy, uh, big brush things, which they are and can be and beautiful. <coughs> but my work is, is different than that. But the one nice thing about watercolours is there is an, an accidental quality to using watercolours that you can use to create very naturalistic effects. Uh, for example, by using the paper wet, you can get very beautiful gradations of tone and movement of the pigments that tend to, can easily look like very natural staining on a wall or uh, you know, water running down a wall or so on, which is, of course, what some of the beauty is of, of traditional buildings, is the patina of age.